at a camp. We weren't too far down and we came out on this. How cool is this? People in the morning have seen bears grazing down here. So I'm looking for those down in the grass. Wouldn't that be cool to see a bear just hanging out grazing in the grass? We had the shelter to ourselves. It was just the three of us in there. That was awesome. There were some tent campers nearby. We're seeing animals on the trail this morning. No bears, but we found a rabbit just now that barely hopped off the trail. He was almost close enough for us to touch and just froze. <laughs> He's so cute. And lots of centipedes. We see lots of centipedes. They're everywhere. Millipedes. I don't know the difference. up at the top of this mountain. It didn't have a name. I couldn't find the name of it. Yep, I see some downhill. Here's the mountains we've already climbed, coming through the Shenandoahs. I don't know if you can see it, but right there in the middle, there's a tower, one of those towers we passed yesterday. We are climbing up Turk Mountain, our second mountain of the day. The first one didn't have a name. These are pretty low mountains. They're not the high ones we have been climbing. <laughs> so it's nice. Not bad at all. We are on a 10 mile dry part of the trail and we needed a little bit extra water. Thank you, Elvis. For that. I think it was Elvis, not Elves. Elvis, Elvis, yeah. Okay. But thank you very much. We really needed that water. We really appreciate it. Just about to cross the road, and I see this. watching me. Hope we see some bears. <laughs> I always see signs, but I don't see the bears. We took a little break for lunch. Back on the trail now. Linda's back with her granddaughter. She's not having the time of her life out here. Each hill is hard for her. 
And even though this is easier than what we've been doing when Linda thought it would be a fun thing for her to do, it's still hard. You know, there's still mountains to climb, small ones. And uh, you're either going up or down. It's rarely flat like it is right now. It's a real challenge for her. She's having a hard time. Of course, is wanting to go home. There's no way to really prepare somebody for it and how hard it's going to be. So Linda's back with her and I'm moving real slow too so that they'll be able to catch up with me later. I think we're going to go to a shelter unless Linda decides to go ahead and get off with her granddaughter, figure out a way to get her back home. So we'll see what happens there. It's a beautiful day. It's a little warmer than it has been. So we're in shorts and tank tops and still warm. Drinking a lot of water and there is no water to be had. So thank you to the trail angels that have put it along the trail today because the water sources are non-existent for about 10 miles. So right now we don't know for sure where we're gonna end up. There's Black Rock Hut which is a shelter and that's like four, a little over four miles away. Then there's also a tent site, loft tent site, which is 10 miles away. And we'd really like to get there because there's trail magic there today and tomorrow. Sodas, free campsites, showers, the whole bit, food, everything there. And so we'd really like to make it there. But that's a really, really long day, especially for a non-backpacker. Um, so we'll, we'll see how she's feeling and decide when we get up to the shelter four miles away, because we'll still be pretty early in the day when we get there and see if, if any of us feel like at that point it'll be like a little over five miles more to do to get to the trail magic and the cold sodas and all that or if we want to stay at the shelter so we'll see how brooklyn feels when we get there because right now she's not too happy about being here <laughs> she's pretty she kind of wants to go home she's missing her family and everything and I don't think it's as fun as she thought it was gonna be. And a lot more work and a lot harder than she thought it was gonna be walking up these mountains. Today, this has been pretty much what the Shenandoahs have been like. Pretty jungly, no views. Very pretty and green though. And not a lot of um, view through the trees. I did see a deer, rabbit, some animals. It would be hard to see bears unless they were really close to you because the vegetation is so thick. But I still have hope, as always, that we will see a bear. But I kind of envisioned this being a little more like the Smokies, you know, with views and big tree, pine trees and stuff. But it's very different. It's more like hiking in South Carolina in places. <laughs> or Georgia or North Carolina even. Just very, very jungly almost. Pretty sure we're gonna go to the shelter tonight. I'm tired already. <laughs> I know they're tired, they're behind me somewhere. So I think we should just stick with the shelter and not try to go another five miles after we get to the shelter. So by the time we get to the shelter, it is probably gonna be 4:35 o'clock and another five miles. You know, that could put us depending on the terrain at you know. 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, <laughs> just depends. So I think we're done. And, you know, if we went to all the way to the Trail Magic, to the tent site, 
I think it would be close to a 20 mile day. It would be 19, which would be the longest day we've ever done. And I hate to, you know, put Brooklyn through a 19 mile day on her second backpacking day. So a 14 mile day is, would be much better. And that's even pretty long. Look at the antenna on that bug. How does he even move around or fly with those things? Tiny little snake. Where'd you go? There you go. There he is. You can go. on the trail. He's right beside me. Go around and see if I can still see him. The horns. slow because I don't want to scare him and he won't get off the trail. We're almost to the Black Rock Hut. It's quite a ways off the AT. So we've been walking down into this little valley after climbing up a little hill. And it is over there. There are some people here. I hear them talking. It's been a long day. I think it's only around 14 miles that we did, but man, it feels like more than that. Here's the locker for food. What I found right by the privy, black rat snake, this huge, beautiful, 